Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at Zoe Hagarth, who on a night out got into an altercation and slashed the face in an attack against Chloe Smith, who said she had been left a changed person from the attack. A 36 year old mum who went for a night out on the town whilst high on cocaine slashed a woman at her home after an altercation between Zoe Hagarth and Chloe Smith. Zoe Hagarth went back to Chloe Smith's Birkenhead flat with a group of people who had stayed up drinking and taking cocaine until 8am after a night out. The 36 year old was asked to leave after becoming rowdy after leaving Miss Smith's flat. Miss Hagarth had realised she had left her bag at Miss Smith's flat. Miss Hagarth then went back to Miss Smith's flat in an attempt to get her bag back. On Miss Hagarth's return to the flat, knocking on the flat door, Miss Smith came back to open the door of her flat and was asked if Miss Hagarth could collect her forgotten bag. As soon as Miss Smith went to hand her the bag, Miss Smith was attacked by Miss Hagarth, who wielded a knife, or a knife equivalent, and dug the weapon into Miss Smith's face. Ben Jones, prosecuting, said Miss Smith had been out with friends in Birkenhead Town Centre on February 28th, 2020. Mr Jones said Miss Smith had been out with her boyfriend Scott Maxwell and their friend Max Brown and while in a taxi home, Mr Brown invited Miss Hagarth to carry on socialising with the group at Miss Smith's flat. Mr Jones said the parties continued to consume alcohol and all parties took cocaine. Going on to say, Mr Hagarth became verbally abusive and threatened to strangle Miss Smith's dog and smash the place up. Miss Hagarth left when asked but returned for her handbag, which Miss Smith handed to her at the front door. Mr. Jones said Miss Hagarth began immediately grabbing her by the hair and pulling her to the ground. One of the witnesses said Miss Hagarth wrapped the woman's hair around her hand before punching Miss Smith repeatedly in the face. Miss Smith felt something very sharp, which she felt Miss Hagarth digging into her face. As a result, Miss Smith suffered multiple lacerations to her face, which will leave permanent scars. Miss Smith had suffered from PTSD after the attack and said the scars on her face made her feel very self-conscious. Miss Hagarth has previous convictions for when she was a juvenile, including two counts of actual bodily harm in 1999. In April this year, Miss Hagarth was fined for assaulting an emergency worker. David Polgays, defending, said Miss Hagarth had vulnerabilities and difficulties which affect how she behaves. Mr Polgay said there was no evidence to suggest that Miss Hagarth's disorder reduced her culpability, but added someone without those difficulties may have reacted very, very differently. He went on to say Mrs Hagarth has dependency issues and had recently made attempts to take her own life. Mr Polgay said there has clearly been a long-standing difficulty with alcohol, long-standing issues with domestic violence, long-standing issues with mental health and that has led to the issues of self-harm. He continued, she didn't have long-term stability and had been unable to stay sober, anxiety-free and receive treatment. Miss Hagarth of Craven Street, Birkenhead admitted causing grievous bodily harm. Judge Anil Murray, sentencing, said the injuries must have been caused by a knife or a knife equivalent like broken glass or a bottle. The judge said he didn't find it was a prolonged or persistent incident, but there was grave injury which had resulted in permanent scarring to Chloe Smith's face. Judge Murray said he took into account Mrs Hagarth's dependency issues and is a high risk of putting her own life in danger or even as far as taking her own life. The judge said Mrs Hagarth had been a victim of domestic violence in the past and that her father had recently died. The court heard Mrs Hagarth suffers from emotionally unstable personality disorder and according to a pre-sentence report that stated she can't be managed in the community and would need continued support to ensure the safety and welfare of Mrs Hagarth. The judge said he did not find that Mrs Hagarth's condition significantly reduced her culpability but noted her condition would make custody more difficult. Mrs Hagarth was sentenced to 25 months in prison and received a five year restraining order. So what do you think of Zoe Hagarth and the trouble surrounding the choices made on that wild, out of control night where she slashed the face, argued and trashed Chloe Smith to an unrelenting degree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.